This is the only true sound doctrine that won't change or conform to our culture. Let's talk about it. What's going on, Closer to God Ministries? Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Today, I hope to help you get closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Hallelujah, amen. We gotta give him all the glory, all the praise, all the honor, because he is truly deserving of it. Man, I don't know what it is about this culture and this society that we live in where everybody can be a victim, everybody can have their own truth, and people say, well, your truth is important, your truth is the only truth and things like that. But in this type of society, in this type of culture, ultimately, when you look at how people, you know, perceive the truth, you know, none of this stuff is built on sound doctrine. Everybody's truth is built off of feelings and emotions. And in the feeling and in the heat of these moments, your emotions, we must realize, aren't going to lead us to anything righteous. And when you are one of these people where you're like, okay, this is my truth. The truth that, you know, God says or the truth of God doesn't matter. This is when you're playing with fire right here, because let me tell you something. This right here, the word Bible stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. If you so shall follow these instructions, you will have done what you needed to do to have eternal life and to have access to the kingdom of heaven. But when people say, you know, I don't have to do it that way, I can do it my own way and it'll be good enough. But we are judged and critiqued off of the standards that are in here, whether people want to acknowledge this. And today, man, I'm here to tell you that your beliefs are meant to be tested. Sometimes you're gonna find out that things that you have been doing, traditions you have been following, you know, customs and rituals and things like this that you have been followed ever since you were a kid, you will find out that they're not based upon sound doctrine. They're not based upon anything except somebody starting it at some point in history and then you following it for all these unknown reasons. And you know, my earlier life was no shape, form, or fashion. But when you start to live your life according to sound doctrine, you start to say, hey, why am I, why am I doing this? Even though I'm saying that I've done it for so many years, let's look back and see why am I actually doing this? And if you can't pinpoint where this came from, or you simply just don't know, it's just something that you've seen somebody do, this is how most people have lived in their lives when it comes to being men, being women, being adults, raising our kids, being parents, being husbands, being wives. This is how most people live their lives because you know, how they were raised, how they were groomed becomes their truth. You know, this is the way I was raised, therefore it's the only truth and I'm sticking to that. But you wanna become just an all around better person, a better adult, a better human, a better husband, father, mother, whatever, you name it. Start living according to sound doctrine and see doesn't it change your life. When I see some of this stuff on the TV, on, on, on social media, on YouTube and things like this, I listen sometimes with discernment and I'm like, man, where, where, where does this stuff come from? And I never used to pay attention to things like that. I was more of a just go with the flow and whatever feels right. But that's this generation. If it feels right, then we're going to do it. But when you are living your life according to sound doctrine, it's going to hit differently. If you truly have a love for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you're not going to be moved from sound doctrine contrary to what the world wants you to do. And I'll tell you, man, you know, as I claim my love for my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that love has to cast out onto everybody else that I come in contact with. And as I declare my love for my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it is indicative that that love share out unto all of my brother and sisters. And it is a, a reflection of the love that I have for, for God. When you believe all of these things that you don't even live out yourself, Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, where, where, where does this come from? It definitely doesn't come from sound doctrine. There's plenty of things that I've even mentioned on this channel with holidays and traditions and things like that. It's not upon sound doctrine. And this is the way that you have to choose to live your life. It's not a matter of affecting everybody else, but it's about sticking 
to the basics, sticking to sound doctrine in the way that you go so you know your actions can be pleasing to God because no matter what you try to get everybody else do, you got to be accountable for yourself. And when I tell you that this is the only doctrine that won't change, this is the only sound truth that is the only truth that matters in the end. When you when you are at that point where your spirit is about to leave your body and you are about to face judgment, no other truth or none of your other beliefs matter at that point. Did you follow the word and the will of God? That's what it comes down to. And this is not a point where we can go back and forth and say, well, this is the way I interpret it. This is the way because God knows our heart. You see what I'm saying? And if your heart wasn't never in it, then you're gonna have to deal with the consequences of that. Play no mind, when people you know, see this video and they watch it, they're gonna be like, oh, that's the Bible. There's so many versions of it. I've done videos on that and I'll even include the playlist in this video, just watch it as it pops up and check that out, man, because there is different versions of the Bibles and there's three different categories that Bibles are put into and it has to deal with, you know, the, the, like the King James Bible being a, uh, uh, a word for word translation. And then as you go into the other categories, people have started to inject and insert their own feelings into these different new age type Bibles to where it's even getting away from the will of God. And we're told to refrain from such ideology, such uh, ways of mankind. You know, this book right here is so truthful, so powerful. You see what I'm saying? That man will go out of his way to try to disguise it and make it look like a Bible. But when you read the words, it's not the gospel. It's not the truth. And people practicing, you know, books like that aren't showing love to their brothers and sisters. They got all this hatred and unforgiveness and evil in their heart. And that's not the will of God. So no matter what, man, this is the only sound doctrine that we can rely on. This is the only truth that matters that can get you eternal life and access to the kingdom of heaven. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting at gun barrel straight. Wow.